Today, the Mediterranean Sea is one of the busiest waterways in the world. But few people know that five million years ago, it almost vanished. Yes, an entire sea, gone. It began with a silent geological shift. The African tectonic plate pushed north, sealing the narrow connection between the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. Cut off from fresh ocean water, the Mediterranean started to evaporate under the scorching sun. Its level dropped by kilometers until the seafloor became a vast, deadly desert. Where ships sail today, there were once salt flats, toxic lakes, and canyons deeper than the Grand Canyon. The Nile was forced to carve a 2.5 kilometer deep gorge just to reach the basin. Marine life collapsed. Rivers plunged off cliffs into nothingness. Southern Europe ended in a gigantic drop with an enormous empty valley stretching from Gibraltar to the Near East. For hundreds of thousands of years, the Mediterranean wasn't a sea, but a super desert filled with thick layers of salt, some more than two kilometers deep. But the true drama was still ahead. When tectonic forces shifted again, a crack opened at Gibraltar, and suddenly the Atlantic rushed in. It triggered one of the most powerful floods in Earth's history, the Zonkleon Flood. Water fell like a one kilometer tall waterfall with the force of thousands of Niagara's combined. The Mediterranean refilled not in millions of years, but in months, or perhaps just a few dozen days. A cataclysm no human could witness and survive. Today, geologists still find traces of that lost world. Gigantic salt deposits, buried canyons, and fossils proving that a whole sea turned to desert and then returned. The Mediterranean as we know it exists because of a single fracture in the earth. Without it, Europe would be unrecognizable.